This morning I heard a very interesting case. Arguments over smartphone use is a common problem with couples. The couple I met today brought that issue with them when they came to court. Mr. and Mrs. Hagen, the two of you have been married for a year and a half. You were together for five years, but a year and a half in, you're looking to end this relationship. Uh, I'm going to find out what's going on, but I'm going to start out with Mrs. Hagen. Why don't you tell me what you think the main problem in this relationship is? Okay, well, he he's the type of person that likes to stay up all night mm -hmm. on the phone. Mm -hmm. And I can get up to, in the middle of the night to go to the bathroom or to get something to drink and he hurry up and puts his phone away. And then when I check his phone, the history is cleared. So if you're not hiding nothing, why are you clearing your history on your cell phone? Mr. Mr. Hagen, are you all night on the phone? No, not all night. Uh, but, but, but do you spend a significant amount of time on the phone? No, okay. not a whole Do you lot. talk on the phone? I talk on the phone, yes, <laughs> Your Honor. Who are you talking to? I don't talk to, I talk to like my friends, I have like a couple of friends. I'm one of those type of people that likes to stay to itself. Mm -hmm. You know, I don't have a whole bunch of people I talk to. I talk mm -hmm. to probably family members or something like that. Do you clear the, the history on your phone? <laughs> yes. Why do you do that? I did that for the simple fact that she basically thinks that I'm doing something I'm not. I clear it for the simple fact that she'll try to basically say I'm cheating, but she's cheated in the past on me. Mm -hmm. So let, let's get something uh, clear up front. You're not cheating on her. This is no, your contention. I'm not so cheating, why are you no. on the phone at 3 o'clock in the morning? Okay. You hang on, wanna... hang on. Oh. You have contended that she has cheated on you. Is that true? Yes. Have you cheated on him? Yes, and I have. Okay. I'm not going to lie. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Yes. How long ago was that? Like eight or nine months ago. Eight or nine months ago. And you worried about his cleared history? <laughs> I mean, but... We've moved past that. I mean, uh -huh. you know, so why are you steady? This is something Your that's Honor. been going on way before I even way before to cheat way on before him. the cheat. Yes. Okay. Give me your best evidence that he has been doing things he shouldn't be doing. Okay. Well, Your Honor, I he has a laptop as well as a cell phone, mm -hmm. and he doesn't know, unlike his cell phone, he doesn't know how to delete the history, obviously, off his laptop. Okay. Okay, so I can open up the laptop and get on the web, and it'll automatically pop up that he's been looking at skinny white girls with big boobs. <laughs> and clearly, I'm a full-figure black woman. So why, I mean, that, what is the deal, you know? Are you now, not happy now, with now, me or what? Now, first of all, ain't nothing wrong with liking skinny white girls with big boobs. <laughs> Is that what you look at on the internet? Sometimes. Sometimes. I don't do it all the time. Okay, but why are you and, doing and that? Now, now, now Mrs. Hagen, let me ask you this. Hey, he's looking at women that don't look like you. Okay, but how does that equate to cheating? To me, that's cheating. Thank why are you on the on the internet? If I did that, I mean, it'd be World War Three for no, real. She got on there and looked you at. You mean to tell me somebody had a picture of some fine black guy naked? Like, from behind, like Idris Elba or something. You wouldn't take a peek? Okay, I, I might. I'm See? Not, but, Your Honor. It happens. There you go. It happens. There you go. Okay, Your Honor. But it's not, that's not, that's not it. I, like, it's, why, okay, so what's up with the Texan at 2, 3 o'clock in the morning and on the internet doing, I mean, what are you doing? She, well, if you're not looking at. Why don't you tell us both what you're doing so she can, she can relax? Please. I basically check my emails. I do stuff. So, I'm going to school. In the Mrs. Hagen? I'm going to school for software and development and computer program. And I check my emails. My, I have internet classes where my teachers text me back and forth to let me know what's coming up next. For At the 3 a.m.? 3 a.m. But it, it'd be different if she thought, she thinks that basically that I'm cheating on her and I'm not. It'd be different if I was going to someone's house mm -hmm. or someone's like three o'clock in the morning getting up, going to somebody's house. Yeah. I'm not okay, doing that. So you, you, your concern is how much time he spends 
on the internet and the computer and all of that. You don't oh. really think he's going out there touching another woman when he's not supposed to be. Is, is that true? No, that's not true because even he can even leave and go for a walk, come back hours later and jump straight in the shower. Now, I'm not saying you can't be sweaty or something. But what are, like, really, what are you doing? Is that really an excuse? And then I come to your school to, to see because what you, what you, you turned you your phone <laughs> He turns his phone off, Your Honor, turns his phone off during the day at school. I understand, you know. But when it's lunch break, it's lunch break. I'm coming up there, sit there, and he going to walk. He looked dead at me and walked right past me. Now, I know you can see me as big as I am. <laughs> come on now. <laughs> But I'm trying I'm to... Right, Mr. Hagan, I'm not accusing you of cheating. But isn't it kind of cold for you to Real see your cold. wife up at school and you just walk by her like she's not what? there? But I'm basically trying to... She doesn't... I turn my phone off at school, yes, because they don't want any distractions. Now, when she pops up, is, is, is she acting crazy or is she just there? She just there. Like, she wants something to be wrong. Like, oh, well, he said she he's looking. at school. So I'm going to go up there and see if he's really at school. Because you turn your phone off. Now, what what Mrs. Hagen, hey, 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 hey. <laughs> let me tell you something. You're off road. Wow. You know what I mean? There's the center that's, lane. That's There's crazy. this, you know, I'm a little bit off road. And then you over here in a ditch somewhere. Just travel, <laughs> traveling on some bumpy stuff that ain't that, even true. He turns crazy. off his phone at school because you're not supposed to have your phone on in school. I know people get that stuff confiscated for that. What? Yes, he looked at some skinny white women. whoop de do. Who hasn't? And, and, and he hasn't shown you any anything, anything real that indicates to me that he's cheating. So you need to get out of the ditch and back on the road so you can join the rest of us. Okay. <laughs> I want him to pay attention to me and what he has in front of him. So I strapped him to the bed, handcuffed him, and blindfolded him. And I mean, you know, and I left him there. <laughs> Have you been living together for years but find that splitting up is as complicated as getting a divorce? Call toll-free at 1-877-311-2222 or visit our website at divorcecourt.com. Follow us on Facebook and Instagram at Divorce Court. Mr. Hagan, you say Mrs. Hagan is very bossy and you can't take it. Why don't you tell, give me an example of some of the bossy things she does? <laughs> Your Honor, we have went to purchase a car, a uh -huh. vehicle. Okay, I looked at a car that I wanted that was, I'm kind of tall, so I need space. Right. And I looked at it, I'm like, okay, this is a nice car. You know, it'll get us from point A to point B, get the kids where they need to be, everything like that. She looked at a different car, and she was like, okay, well, we're going to get this one. This is nice. I like the color. I like this, that, and the other. If you don't like it, oh well, da, da, da. I go ahead, I give in. I don't want it to be no more You don't hear all that problems, stuff. You're going to no get the car that she in, wants. Right. So, okay, we're going to get the car you want. Down the road, there's an issue that she doesn't like about the car. After we get the vehicle. Uh, I don't like the color, and how does this work, and how does that work, and this you is not working You right. decided you didn't like the color after you got the car? Yes, because... How does that work? Well, I guess it just looks different in the lighting. And that dark, <laughs> I don't know. It just... I, I didn't like it no more after that. It was cute when I test drove it. And then when I got it home, I didn't want it no more. You know. Can you imagine how irritating that would be to your husband? who didn't want to get the car in the first place, wife gets home and decides she didn't like the color of the car that she talked him into getting. You see that part? Yes, but... You, you see that a, as annoying, right? It is annoying. Yeah. Okay. Fifty Shades of Grey. You enjoyed that. Mm -hmm. You wanted him to participate <laughs> in Fifty <laughs> Shades of Grey-like behavior. Why don't you explain to me how you broached that issue and what he said when you did? Okay, since he likes to look up skinny white women with big boobs on the internet, I want him to pay attention to me and what he has in front of me, of him. So I strapped him to the bed, handcuffed him, and blindfolded him. And I mean, you know, and I left him there. Because who does that? And you left him there? Yes. Who, who does For a couple that? of minutes, not all night, not all night. Who does that? 
Not all night. Uh, 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 but still. But, but I mean, you know, come on now. You now if you don't you, you look at what's in front of you. I mean, you can't see with okay, the blindfold on clearly. But so, so think but about it. Is it but, but I don't know. Is it but I heard that tying up was supposed to be fun for the people, that they were enjoying each other, right. not as a form well, of restraint and punishment. Right. Right. That's what I heard. I don't know, but you tied him up because he was because you were mad. Yes. That he was looking at skinny white women with big boobs mm -hmm. on the internet. Yes, I did. I sure did. And she Mr. Hagen, how long did he did she leave you there? For a while. And, and she and, and this is the crazy thing, Your Honor. She'll lower me. I go back there, you know. She be like, "Hold on." She'll go to the bathroom or something. I'm tired, so of course I'm gonna lay down and doze off. And I'm asleep by this time. I wake up. I'm tied up in handcuffs. I'm like, "What is going on? What what's going on here?" I'm, it, it'd be different if I was. Ex I Expecting it, or you know, or, or agree to it, or something, something like that, something you like that. know, but you weren't even to do something like that. But it's, just to wake up and somebody be just handcuffed you, I'm thinking she gonna beat me. I don't know. If you wouldn't do the things you do, I wouldn't have to handcuff you but, to the bed. So, so, so you, you, you handcuffed him just because of what he was looking on at the site. Name something else he's been doing. Because so far he looked, he's looking pretty good okay. out here. Well, he looks at porn a lot. He's addicted to porn. He's addicted to porn. Yes, he is. Now. You, and I know, because I know you know, because you go through his history, mm -hmm. and you see a lot of porn sites. Right. Okay. Let me ask you this: Is your love life at home one that is sufficient to to satisfy everyone? No. And and why do you think that is? I mean, you know, he's always talking about he's tired, he's this, he's that. I mean, I'm tired too. But I mean, you have to please me or I will get it from somewhere else. I mean, you know. And on that note, let's change the subject. To a guy that we knew charged at me like he's a quarterback, knocked me to the ground. If you can't stand up for me in our own home and protect me and our and children, what, you there what can for? you do? Mr. Right. Hagan, did that happen? If you would like your case to be heard on Divorce Court, call us toll-free at 1-877-311-2222 or log on to our website at divorcecourt.com. Follow us on Facebook and Instagram at Divorce Court. Mrs. Hagan, you say that Mr. Hagan doesn't stand up for you and you have an example of when he failed you uh, grossly in that way. Why don't you tell me about that? Well, Your Honor, um... We were at home one night, and a friend that we knew, a guy that we knew, bammed on the door. Mm -hmm. I mean, we knew him, so we opened up the door. Well, as soon as we opened the door, he charged at me like he's a court, like a quarterback, just charged, knocked me to the ground. I mean, you know, and calling me all out my name and just saying really mean and horrific things to me. He's standing there, standing there not saying nothing, we're, at, we're asking like, well, what's going on, what's going on? At that point, I feel like you shouldn't ask any questions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, th this yeah. is the final straw for me, where somebody put their hands on your wife. I mean, you know, that put the icing on the cake. If you can't stand up for me in our own home and protect me and our and children, what, you there what can for? you do? Mr. Right. Hagan, uh, did, did that happen? The person came over and knocked on the door. Like you said, we know the person, so I come out you know, I'm trying to figure out what's going on, because it's kind of caught me off guard. I'm asking this person, what's going on? What's going on? I'm holding it back, because I'm trying to get what... Wow. Hang on, hang on, Mrs. Well, Hagen. By that time, she comes outside, my wife. She comes outside to... She's basically looking like... We both looking like what's going on. We confused. So the person charges... Tries to charge at me. I'm charging back in him. I'm looking at him, still trying to figure out what's, what's why what's are you why, why coming to our house with all this. The next thing I know, he, I guess, breaks away from me or whatever, pushes her. I'm running up to him, trying to find out like what's going on, what what's happening, why is this all well, occurring? You shouldn't be worried about what's happening. You, I mean. But he, he did. Now, now, hang on, Mrs. Hagen. Did he tangle with the dude or didn't he? No, he didn't. He, he didn't touch the guy at actually all. Actually, running, like walking backwards. You was not. No, that's a lie. Why that is would a lie. I? Rihanna, 
I'm Why would I run away? Did, away? Did, 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 did you ever figure out what the guy wanted? He basically, it was something with him and his uh, girlfriend or whatever. They was having problems. I don't know why they decided to bring it to our house. But he just, but he, he, he just, did. It was just crazy. And it, it, it's not like, okay, I guess she wanted me to fight the dude or beat up the dude or. No, that's with, not. With that, so I don't know what she wanted let, let me, me to. Let me try to find out. The story he tells is, 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 is a bit different from the story you tell. And the one that he tells makes a little more sense to me, that the guy rushed past him and actually knocked you down. Did, didn't he touch the guy? Didn't he... Okay, he was... He engaged with the guy? As far as, like, trying to defend me, no. He was, like, kind of, like, tussling back as far as trying to hold him back from coming at me again. That was it. But, I mean, you know... Then you managed to still have conversations with this person after all of this. Why? I mean, after he did this to your wife, like, why? I'm I not understand understanding. what you're saying. I understand what you're saying. I think I understand what the entire problem is here. In divorce court, couples tell me everything about their relationships. Want to share your experience? Join the conversation on our Twitter page at Divorce Court. On Facebook, check out other fans and their intimate issues. You know everybody has something to say about love. What's on your mind? I'm gonna go way out on a limb here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna trip on in from out and left field and see if I find myself anywhere near where I think your head is. <laughs> I think that my understanding is, Mr. Hagen, you wanna keep your wife. Yes, I love her, Your Honor. And Mrs. Hagen, you want to go. And I think you want to go not because he's not a good husband, not because he's looking at white women, not because he's cheating on you, not because he watches too much porn, not because he didn't beat up somebody else, but I think you want to leave him because you don't feel good about you. Yeah. I think... No, 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 just to work with okay. me for a minute. Work with me for a minute. You've got imaginary internet infidelities going on. You see him cheating on you. That's a fear thing going on. Popping up at school, that's a fear thing going on. You're chasing down his history. I don't hear any texts or anything that are bad. It's you chasing the maybe that he might. And then you have an affair on him. That means you're going out trying to make yourself feel better because you don't feel good about you. And you're not getting enough sex from him and you see him looking at the internet. So again, it tells you that you don't have value, that you don't have beauty. And then you have an incident at the home and it was a weird, freaky incident. He tussled a little bit, but he didn't quite treat you like you wanted to be treated. And He talked to the guy like anybody would. What's wrong with you, man? But you didn't feel defended. I don't think you know how beautiful you are. I don't think you believe in your own value. I think all of these things that are, you are chasing, that you are seeing, that you are finding inadequate in him is a reflection of inadequacies you feel in you that aren't there. I want you to feel good about who you are. I want you to feel good about the man that you have, because this man loves you. I know he loves you. And I don't think you have any clue how wonderful you are. I don't know what it is. I don't know why. I do know that a lot of women come in here if they're not exactly the right size or the right color that we have, the, that society tells us that we're not quite good enough. Our hair texture might be a little bit over here and not over there. But remember, whatever we are, whatever we do, you know, people are out getting tans and getting their hair braided. Something must be good about it. Right. Do you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Love it. Enjoy it. He does. Don't mess it up. This matter is adjourned. Before you point at somebody else's errors or inadequacies, make sure you have a clear vision of your own. Because sometimes what you see in others is a reflection of what's happening with you. Call us toll free at 1-877-311-2222 or log on to our website at divorcecourt.com.